hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well so in this video i'm going to show you how you can use the uv projection using the blender and how you can make the that orange slice help of the uv projection so without any further delay let's get started so before starting that tutorial i'm just going to open my photoshop so here we have a one uh, slice photo okay and uh, we, we we are going to use that photo as a texture and we will do the projection uh, that uh, texture on our model okay so i just cut that and make it alpha like that okay and i did some further uh, uh, editing like that i change the color and i i change the shape also okay so let's move to uh, blender now yeah guys uh, here i am in the blender and uh, I'm just going to delete my uh, default cube and I'm going to enable my shortcut VR okay so now first we need a basic shape of that slice okay so I'm just going to make that so for that I'm just adding one circle and I'm going to the top view and here I will go to the edit mode and I will select these vertices and I will going to delete vertices then after that I will select the two vertices I will press the F so it will be fill like that then after that I will select the uh, whole object and set the origin to geometry and then I will uh, rotate to 90 degree so, yeah so we can see easily in front view and I'm going to drag it up a little bit like that then after that we need uh, some edges here so I'm going to selecting those edges and pressing the F so same thing I will do that here and here also and here I will also do that same thing like that yeah guys so now we have uh, some edges on our model okay so now I'm going to extrude it okay so when I go to the edit mode and I will select the all so when I will press the 3 so we don't have any faces also so first we need to create some faces then we can uh, extrude these shapes ok guys so how we get the, these faces so we don't need to do anything we just go to the edge mode and I will select the two edges like that and then I will press the F so we have uh, now one face in between same thing I will do with here same thing I will do here okay so now I will select the all faces and press the 3 I will extrude to uh, Z axis like that okay so I think that is the enough shape yeah so after that we have a, a shape of our uh, we have some we have a shape of our uh, slices okay so we need to do some further editing so for that I will just go to the edit mode and I will select the both edges and I'm going to uh, scale and Y like that so just close up do this then same thing I will do with that okay and I will select the S and Y so it will be look like that and same thing I will do with here uh, S and Y S and Y like that yeah guys so now we have a, a simple uh, shape of our slice here you can see we have a one shape and we can overall scale little bit so we can easily uh, so we can overall uh, scale little bit like that yeah now it's looking fine okay guys so we can just scale it little bit also yeah so that is perfect so now we have uh, our uh, shape basic shape uh, of that slice so now I'm going to add the texture on it 
and uh, so before adding the texture so I'm just uh, select the all edges and I'm just going to subdivide twice so now we have uh, enough number of subdivisions of our model okay and uh, I think we should do some further editing like that and a little bit like that yeah now it's perfect okay guys so now I'm going to add the texture on it so for that I just uh, go to the uh, material group so here I will add new material and I will locate that texture so first I will just click the base texture and here I will select the image texture and I will open that texture uh, import ok guys so when I go to the uh, UV editing panel I will select the all vertices and I will go to the uh, front view and I will enable the shading panel yeah, material preview so right now we 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 don't open our UV so that's why it's not showing anything it's showing the black that is the reason behind it to showing black so what we have to do for that so we just go to the our model and uh, I'll just press the U so here is the option is that projection from the view so when I click on it so you can see we have a that shape um, we have a that same shape of uh, UVs which is we uh, created our model so then I will select the all then I will going to scale it like that okay guys I'm going to scale like that and I will move little bit and I will scale little bit also because it's going to outside yeah that is fine I'm just going to move it little bit and scale it little bit then after that we will do some manual editing like that I'm just going to select that edge and uh, do this so f here you can see when I'm doing the editing you can see that uh, changes is happening here here you can see how very nicely is happening here you can see yeah so I think that UV projection uh, method is sometimes is work good and help lot I think basically we don't want to open our UVs and uh, we don't want to uh, open our UVs so we can use that method I think that is great method for some time but not a long time so I'm going to tell why it's not good for some time because uh, it's giving a overall view but uh, if we need some detailing so we can't uh, uh, use it because that time we need a a proper UV I'm also going to make the uh, one series on uh, UVs uh, so from beginner to intimate so everybody can uh, see that uh, tutorials and that series so I'm going to upload here on my youtube channel that's free to everyone so just stay tuned with me guys and uh, now you go got it why I subdivide my mesh because we need some mesh on here also so we can easily uh, see that what's going on here so now you can see here we have a, have a great slice of our uh, orange slice so now I'm just going to little bit scale so we can see better view so now I'm going to just add on light on my scene so we can easily see that ok guys so I'm just adding one plane here like that and I'm making one floor also so we can see the better view and I'm just going to bevel that and add the shade smooth then after that I'm just going to move it a little bit back side then after that I'm just going to add the camera on my view so I'm just adding the camera all control zero and after that I'm just uh, enable my camera view so here you can see 
so I'm just uh, I'm just creating one angle so which angle it's looking better so I think that is fine yeah so now I'm going to add the color on my background so I'm just taking one random color right now okay so like that and I'm going to add the light also but before adding the light I'm going to switch my rendering engine to EV2 cycle and I will set my device GPU and here is a viewport denoising which is working perfectly okay and after that I will add the one light on it so I will add one plain light area light so I will put the light top of like that I'll just going to scale a little bit and after that I will set the uh, that power so I think 15 hundred is enough I think that is yeah I think thousand is enough so now you can see we have a one uh, slice okay and uh, I also adding one light also here but before adding light I'm just decreasing that light I think it's enough light and I'm uh, I'm just going to duplicate that light okay guys and uh, I'm just rotating this light like that and drag it a little bit down and after that I'll just use node and here I will set the um, blue color yeah maybe uh, red color yeah red color I think red color is fine and I'm decreasing that 500 yeah so it it generate a very good looking uh, mood lighting kind of go mood lighting okay and we need to change our texture also of that uh, we also have to change that texture our uh, that part so what I will do for that first so I'm just going to the uh, here I will tap and I'm just going to select the my all uh, yeah so we select all the faces and I'm I'm just going to press the P and here is a separate mesh I'm just selecting the P and enter so now we have a separate mesh of that also so we have a the slice or uh, a separate and that mesh also separate so what is the reason to do that so if you can see I'm just go to the again rendering mode and here I will add the one new material so and I'm just image texture you can see okay so same thing we will do for that also I will go to the UV editing section I will press the A so now we have a so I'm just going to bottom view and I'm just pressing the U and I will set the projects from project from the view so when I do this so here you can see we have a perfect shape okay so I'm just going to rotate it 90 degree I'm just going to rotate it a little bit more yeah like that so we have also texture on our back side if it, it it's not showing on camera view but still we need to change some view so we can see easily okay what's going on here okay guys so now I'm changing my uh, view to rendering mode okay now here you can see we have texture on it also okay guys so now we have one problem here you can see that black uh, surface is also showing which is not looking good so how we can rid of that problem so I will just go to the shading panel and uh, here I will just going to delete that principal shader and I will add the one uh, diffuse BSDF okay and I'll just put the that BSDF to surface and color to color so when I put the color to color you can see we have a color again color on our model our texture is again coming so now we need one uh, mix shader also so I'm just going to uh, add the mix shader in between like that we need one node also it's called transparent BSDF transparent BSDF okay guys so I will add that transparent BSDF here 
and I will add the alpha to FAC so when I add this here you can see we have we don't see any changes but uh, when I switch to the rendering mode so here you can see we have a now a perfect uh, slice so I'm just going to my main camera view here so now here you can see we have a perfect slice okay and uh, we can change it so uh, we can change the any angle so now I'm just going to render it first so make sure you enable your denoising and also that optics AI to normals yeah like that so when I render it here you can see we have a perfect slice of our orange and uh, that is how we can uh, use the UV projection but uh, sometime it's working and sometime it's not working and uh, that is not good for longer time why I told like that because of that if you can see here so if you can see here we have some problem here okay so it's showing uh, showing two faces so that is uh, that will be show because uh, uh, there is nothing in between that to fill the hole but it's okay we can change the view okay we we we, we can uh, change the view and we don't show that view we can change the another view and it will look real it it, it don't it's it's not problem but yeah so that is the reason i'm just telling you sometimes it's not working that is the reason only but if we need some another view so we can change the view and fix that problem okay so I think that is a great way to add the quick texture without uh, um, unwrapping any objects okay and I will also put the link in the description you can download from there and that is free so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also and if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply your comments so bye bye take care stay home